GoDaddy is one of the biggest names in website hosting, and it's probably one of the first options people come across when they're thinking about starting a website. Whether you need a site for your business, a blog, or an online store, GoDaddy offers a simple way to get started. But how good is it, really? And is it the best choice compared to other hosting providers like Bluehost, Hostinger, or SiteGround? Let's break it down in the easiest way possible. The first thing most people know GoDaddy for is domain names. A domain name is just your website's address, like yourbusiness.com, and GoDaddy makes it really easy to find and buy one. They even give you suggestions if the name you want isn't available. The pricing is decent, especially for the first year when they offer discounts, but the renewal prices can get higher, so keep an eye on that. Now, when it comes to hosting, GoDaddy has a few different options. Their basic shared hosting is affordable and works fine for small websites. But since you're sharing server space with other users, your site could slow down if there's a lot of traffic on the server. If you're using WordPress, they also have managed WordPress hosting, which is supposed to make things easier by handling updates and security for you. It's a decent choice, but in my experience, other providers do a better job at optimizing WordPress sites. For example, Bluehost, which is officially recommended by WordPress, tends to offer better performance, especially if you want a smooth experience right from the start. Their dashboard is really easy to navigate, and they have a one-click WordPress installation that gets your site up and running in minutes. Plus, Bluehost includes a free domain for the first year, free SSL, which is the security certificate that makes your site safer, and automatic backups, which GoDaddy only offers on higher tier plans. If you're looking for something beginner-friendly that also gives you more value, I think Bluehost is the better pick. And if you use the coupon code in the description, you can actually get up to 80% off your hosting plan, which makes it one of the best deals out there. That said, GoDaddy does have its strengths. Their website builder is super simple, and if you just want a no-fuss, drag-and-drop way to get a website online quickly, it works well. It's not as flexible as WordPress, but for someone who just wants a basic site, it's an easy solution. Other hosting providers like Hostinger and SiteGround also offer solid options. Hostinger is known for being one of the most budget-friendly choices, and it actually has better speed than GoDaddy in a lot of cases. SiteGround, on the other hand, is great for customer support and security, but it's a bit pricier. One thing to watch out for with GoDaddy is the extra costs. While they make it easy to start, things like email hosting, backups, and security features often come at an extra charge, whereas Bluehost and some other providers include them for free. Overall, GoDaddy is a well-known option that works fine for beginners, but when you compare it to Bluehost, Hostinger, or SiteGround, there are definitely better choices depending on what you need. If you're looking for something affordable, fast, and easy to manage, I personally go with Bluehost. And if you want to grab that 80% off discount, check out the link in the description. Have you used GoDaddy before? What's your experience been like? Let me know in the comments.